What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I run my fridge full time in my truck, never take it out. I did a test and I was camping for about four days, never turned the truck on and the solar and the dual battery ran the fridge the entire time and we were opening and using and everything. And it was probably 120 degrees inside the truck uh, during midday. It got pretty hot in there and it ran it perfectly fine. Didn't drain the batteries whatsoever. So I'll get on and I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, here we are on the hood of my vehicle and Lenson Solar was nice enough to send out their 90 watt hood solar panel that connects straight to the main dual battery system. So this helps charge plus the other solar I have on my tent that I'll show you in a minute. But this is 90 watts and it's extremely effective and it's been on here a couple months and it works just fine. I highly recommend this if you're trying to run a fridge or anything like that. And especially if you have dual batteries, it'll just slowly charge it. Okay, so here we are on top of my iCamper 3.0 Mini. I found this cool little product. It's from Merlin Solar, but I got it through Rhino Adventure Gear. It's a 50 watt solar panel you can put on this and it charges your main battery. So this is the other solar option that I have to charge my batteries while running my fridge. It is pretty neat and it also looks like you could fit like two more on top of this if I really wanted to. So maybe sometime down the road, if I want to turn my truck into like a mini generator, I'll just fit two more. But here's the solar panel and then the wires run pretty sweet. So there's two wires, you kind of just zip time together and you run them down here and it kind of just goes in the lip of the iCamper right here and you just run it down to the frame of your vehicle and run it all the way to your battery and it helped charge it. So combined, I have 140 watts of solar charging that dual battery system when I'm, uh, when I'm just stationary and not running the alternator. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what the battery looks like and we'll get there. Okay, so here we are inside the engine bay. And I have the Genesis off-road do battery system with the uh, bus bar accessories part. This is their new generation. I believe it's the third generation. I highly recommend it because it has this whole bus bar spot. I'll open it up and I'll show you guys in a second. And then over here, I have the Switch Pros panel just for stuff like that. And then I have the Merlin solar controller, whatever. And that's the solar panel that's actually on top of my iCamper. And then here's a Lenson solar controller. So it's all right here wired up. Uh, I'd say this is probably one of the best ways we could wire this. There's a lot of wires. Um, we try to make it as pretty as possible, but this is the main thing powering the fridge. It's the only thing powering the fridge. And I'll show you in a second, but we have a cigarette lighter that we custom modded in the back seat that's hot when the car's off that we ran to this. And with this combined with the solar, it just runs it forever. All right, so when we open my back door right here, you'll see I got the Dometic CFX fridge. Um, you'll notice this marking, I got it used from REI, so that was a steal. And uh, right here I have a blanket and then some foam to put under it so it doesn't mess my cushions up. And uh, we've been trying to figure out like how to like stabilize and stuff. I did run a ratchet strap like under the seat to the other side, both the handles and strapped it down. But I noticed the straps are kind of rubbing on the seats a little bit, so we're not going to do that. And my girlfriend had a good idea to use bungee cords to the baby seat attachment things and so we're going to try that out and i will let you guys know in the comments or whatnot if that's the best option that we find but this is uh the fridge in the back seat it is accessible it it's kind of sucks that the lid opens like this but um it, you know you have to do what you gotta do and then uh, i'll show you guys what the cigarette lighter custom cigarette lighter looks like and how we run the wires and stuff so here's our custom cigarette lighter that we had put here so this cigarette lighter runs straight to the battery and is on when the truck's off on or whatnot and we just plug in the Dometic, you know, cable that plugs into the cigarette lighter and just run it. And we kind of just run the cable a little bit under the thing. Uh, we'll try to mess with it a little bit more when we do the bungee cord method. Just try to hide the cable a little bit better. But I like this option rather than just having the goose gear setup back here. Because if I want to put three people back here, I still can. Uh, the goose gear setup takes up both seats and you only got one back here. So it is kind of nice just having the option to have multiple seats. And then the storage below them and the storage behind them. The storage behind them is with the subwoofer, but uh, the storage under them still works and stuff. And uh, we haven't really needed a need for the goose gear setup yet. So this is kind of just an alternative than having the goose gear setup in the slide. The slide would be nice, but you still can access it just fine. Okay guys, so that is the video on how I power my fridge full time with solar and the dual battery setup. So far that dual battery setup is pretty awesome. 
It's an affordable one on the market. Some are in the thousands of dollars. That one I think is 700. So it is affordable and it is really nice with how the buttons and stuff are designed. So far, both solar panels have impressed me and the controllers and the wiring was pretty simple, not gonna lie. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want, go follow on my Instagram at that one third gen and there'll be another video right here if you guys wanna watch it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have a better idea how to mount this like permanently to the seat so when I'm off-roading it's not jumping everywhere, shoot it down in the comments. But I really think the bungee cord idea is gonna work pretty well. All right guys, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one.